I've known Dennis a long time, even longer than Jan, his wife. He was in my band at Hayes High School when I was teaching there, and I came here and uh, as the band director and vocal instructor, and I was out playing with Dr. Robinson, the golf with Dr. Robinson and the president, and Jimmy Downing, the athletic director, and finished a round of golf, and I shot one over par or something like that, and they said, congratulations, and I said, no, this is a pretty easy course, and he says, no, you're the new golf coach, now I'll go out and recruit. <laughs> recruit. So we were, were recruiting, and in the second year, uh, Dennis is graduating from Hayes High School, and being the band director, I thought, man, there's a trumpet player. And so got on Dennis, and then I said, well, you can play golf too. Now, there wasn't uh, performance awards or anything like that, but he came to uh, Barton County and was in the band and the jazz band and the pep band for two years, and he was on the golf team. And uh, th uh, a couple of stories about Dennis. Uh, he had long hair at that time. And he had long hair when he first came to Great Bend. But I used to tell him, if your hair gets in the way when you putt, it's going to come off. <laughs> and another one, we were playing a tournament in Independence, Kansas, and he doesn't even know this. I asked him tonight about it, but the coaches were all around number 18 green, and it was the finish of the round, and, and the, it was a par five, and, the, the, and he could drive the green in two. I mean, hit the green in two. But there was a big pond right off to the east of it. And the ball come up there and got to the green and was rolling toward the pond. And some of those geese, there must be relatives of the ones out on the, the pond now, the goose. And the ball was rolling down toward the pond and an old goose come out and just settled down right on top of it. <laughs> and then he got up and walked off and the ball never went in the water. He chipped it on and got a bird. <laughs> Not a goose. Okay, uh, Dennis, in coming to Barton, excelled in academics. And I've told this story to a lot of the golf teams. This is an opportunity to study. And in 18 years with golf teams, I think he was the only one that would get in the front seat to ride with me. They'd all sit in the back and chat, and he'd sit in the front seat and study. Of course, he was going into pharmacy. And I think it, I think it takes a lot of study to get a pharmacy degree. Uh, while he was here taking lots of math classes, he happened to run on to a young girl from Great Bend, Jan Kirshner. And they just seemed to always take those classes together. And so they graduated in 72. And Dennis was going to get pharmacy degree, so where was that? KU. Jan had planned on going to K-State. So Dennis went to KU and Jan went to KU. <laughs> OK. So, uh, it takes uh, quite a while to get a pharmacy degree, and as I understand, in the third year they got of uh, Dennis at KU, she had graduated, but he got his degree, and later on they come back to Great Bend, and you can read in his bio of all the, the help he's done with the hospitals in the area, Larnard, uh, Hoisington, Ellenwood, Central uh, Kansas Hospital, always aiding pharmacy. Jan is taught at Barton County, and Dennis supports the nursing department at Barton County. So one of those criteria for a Hall of Fame is what Dennis has done. Now, in back to the golfing, when he was a sophomore, we, uh, there were 17 community colleges in the state with a golf team. That's 85 players. That's like the final two days of a pro golf tournament. And it was packed on the golf course. And it came down to the end that Dennis Sherman was the medalist of the Jayhawk Conference, the first medalist, the first winner of a sport for an individual at Barton County Community College. And Matt, I was proud of that trumpet player. <laughs> Dennis presently is a, a partner in the Hess Sherman Wealth Management Group in Great Bend. And I want you to give a big round of applause for Dennis Sherman, first Jayhawk Conference winner, BCC Hall of Fame inductee, 2012. Well, I'm really not much of a speech maker. I'll tell you that right off the bat. So getting in front of people and speaking is not my forte. So I always have notes. 
Uh, wow, what an honor. What an honor to be chosen uh, to receive this award. I am truly humbled uh, to become a part of this uh, celebrated group. Um, I have some friends that are members of this, and I never dreamed that I would be standing up here in front of you today. Uh, Barton is a great school. It's a great school to start your education. Uh, the class size is small. Uh, the instructors are always available if you need extra help. Uh, and my time here was very well spent. Uh, the instructors and the classes that I took prepared me very well for the entrance into pharmacy school at University of Kansas. Um, science and math courses uh, began a career path uh, to becoming a pharmacist. And I still enjoy being a pharmacist today. It's unusual to find something that you really enjoy for a lifetime. Uh, and I still, I still do relief work. Uh, so when a pharmacist calls and is going to be sick or something like that, then I do fill in every once in a while when they need me. And uh, it is kind of tough keeping up your clinical skills, but uh, I make a good try. Um, you know, it, it's, it's interesting because I have not stopped learning. Uh, I learn something new every day, and I make it a point to do that. I try to pick up something that I did not know before. And this is kind of evident in, in me being a financial advisor now. I mean, who would have thought you'd go from pharmacist to a financial advisor? That's about 180 degrees. But uh, I like doing both. Uh, I enjoy both of those things, and uh, I hope to do those for the rest of my life. Now, when JB came to Hayes to recruit me, uh, I had already visited with uh, a coach from Emporia about playing football. Now, figure that out. <laughs> Here, I was 5'6 and weighed about 150 pounds, but I was quick and fast, and, and uh, I had a really good game my last game in high school. Intercepted three passes, and, and so I know that's, they were looking at that, but I think they were looking at my grades, too. Um, I think they saw how well I was doing academically, and, and they were trying to build uh, a group of students as well as athletes. I look back and realize that uh, JB's invitation to come here uh, started a new chapter in my life. And uh, the decision to choose Barton was one of the best decisions that I've ever made. Um, and I thank JB for giving me that opportunity. Um, I'm also thankful that my parents uh, supported me and encouraged me to come to school here. Um, I'm glad that they were looking for me to get an education and uh, I know they were both college graduates so I think that kind of goes to say that they wanted their kids to be that way too. Uh, and this is where I met Jan. Uh, very special lady. And uh, she has been a great influence on me. Uh, and I would not be where I am today if I didn't have her love and support. And, uh, great Bend is also a great place to raise kids. And uh, Jill and Todd are good examples of that. Um, and they're now college graduates and have their own careers, and, and Jan and I are really very proud of both of them. We're glad to see them doing well. Now, golf is an interesting game. And I have a quote here from Bob Ryan, and he describes the game of golf as a passion, an obsession, a romance, and a nice acquaintanceship with trees, sand, and water. <laughs> I have to agree with that. And I have a passion for this game that will never leave me. Um, if you visit my office, you'll see it decorated in uh, golf calendars and paintings of Augusta and Pebble Beach. And there's probably not a day that goes by 
that I don't think about a shot that I hit or that I've liked to have hit or a hole that I played or a course that I visited. Um, I haven't brought my putter to the office yet, but I'm sure that's coming. <laughs> um, and even though the ball doesn't travel as far as it did when I was younger, um, I enjoy every minute on the course when I'm there. Every shot's a challenge, but no such thing as a bad day at the course, even when my game doesn't meet my expectations. Now, last thing I want to close with is uh, I believe God has a hand in everything we do. I believe he brought me to Barton. And this is a choice that I made that uh, has and will influence me for the rest of my life. I don't know what the future holds, but I always try to listen with my heart. In doing so, I know that wherever I go, whatever I do, God will be with me and have a hand in every decision I make. Thanks all for coming.